Hey everybody, we're Janella and Carissa, and we travel full-time in our van with our two dogs, Coda and Cleo. Last week, the van shut off. we left you hanging after we rented an Airbnb, but this week we explained thoroughly why we're having coffee inside a tiny cabin in the woods instead of our van. We may be embarking on every van lifer's least favorite experience, but don't worry, we're taking you to one of the most beautiful parks I have personally ever seen, complete with willow trees and an amazing view of the mountains. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate y'all so much. It's a chilly, chillier morning, but it's still supposed to be a nice day. So welcome back to the vlog, everybody. We are sorry that we left you hanging last week, but we are here to explain what happened. <laughs> so our big surprise isn't a huge surprise. We have had a check engine light on for, I think, the better part of a year now. So back in January, I believe, we got a notification that our check engine light was on and that our glow plug was needing repair. So we took it to a dealership. Basically, they told us that they could do it, but it would take a long time and they'd probably have to service it out. It was going to cost thousands of dollars yeah. for a part that does not cost very much. We brought it in several, I think two times and had both people at separate shops say the same thing, which is it was going to be a huge job. If we didn't stay in a cold climate, we could go to a warmer place and it wouldn't need to be serviced, which would save us like thousands of dollars, even though, side note, it cost a thousand dollars for them to tell us this. <laughs> Yeah. Basically, we were told that the van wouldn't be able to cold start in the Canadian fall winter temperatures, uh, but because there's three other functioning glow plugs, it would be okay for a while in a warm climate. Nonetheless, we have decided that we need to get it fixed. Carissa found a specialist, a diesel specialist. So we thought we want to take care of this in case we want to stay in Canada longer, which we do. And it does get colder here in the fall. And so I looked it up and i found a place called babes auto that was only an hour and a half from here talked to them on the phone and they seem confident that they can do this without too much of a hiccup so super great news so that was our big thing and basically we were just rushing around trying to get here so we apologize for not explaining it sooner but yeah that's what we're going to do today we are bringing the van in and hence why we had to rent this Airbnb cabin, which we're not even sleeping in. Uh, and that's just to have a place through the day for Carissa to be able to work and for all of us to be, because again, that's like a hard thing with a van. If it's your home and it's being serviced, mm -hmm. you got no home. So it will yeah. be our temporary little spot while the van gets uh, some medical attention. And we'll take you with us because this looks like a really pretty 
little town. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get on the road because we got to make our appointment. We'll finish our coffee and we will see you guys on the road. On your road. On your road. You want to boop the camera? Hey, boop. <laughs> okay, guys, we will see you soon on the road. I got the extra ones, so okay. yeah. yeah. I'll take these and then I will call you Sounds good. when I have some news for you. I'll okay. dig them out of a the backpack. They're not far, they're just in the back. Yeah. We can grab them for you. you want to just take, yeah, yeah. tell you what, dig them up, put them on like a passive, you know what I mean? If we get to that, then cool. Sounds then good. They're there. Talk to you soon. <laughs> His name's Roger. Roger. Isn't that your brother's name? Oh yeah, we can't name him that. <laughs> I need another R name. Yeah, let's find that those glow plugs. Okay. 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 Swim where? Oh yeah, they're there. Hey, boom. Diagnostic sheet for that. Oh, I should leave that on the thing too. For yeah. Me. Okay. <clears throat> How come you smell like a farm? I can't give you a bath because you're allergic to your soap. I have to give you a haircut. Okay. Hold on, I'm almost ready. Are you watching the rooster? Are you watching it? Very cute. What do you think, buddy? Are you walking like you've drank a whole bunch of tequila? <laughs> right, everybody, let me tell you one of the things that I do think is, I guess, like a downside of living in a van, because I really do love it very much. But we gotta be honest, one of the super hard things, let's say that challenging, if you will, is that when you have van problems, AKA house problems, what happens, babe? We are homeless. <laughs> <laughs> we are homeless. We're walking back to our little tiny cabin. But yeah, that is a tough thing because if you're in a city that you don't know, and uh, yeah, you either have to book a hotel or an Airbnb or... You always have to plan for that. So our three minute drive there is about a half an hour walk. <laughs> it's a good way to get our morning walk. Forced exercise is always good exercise. <laughs> it's true. It's a lovely day. Lovely day. Oh, that's so cool. He's <laughs> so cute. Look at his little heart goes. I know. <laughs> Oh, we know. That was a way better route than uh, we thought it was going to be. 
Yeah. Look at it nestled in there. <sighs> That's so cool that the walking path is literally right oh, on yeah. the edge of this place. That's awesome. So we're gonna go pick up the van. We can uh, just walk the path. Yeah, amazing. You want three? You might need a minute carry your food across the town through the mountains completely follow up and if they had any questions they would contact if you really wanted to see um, so it is on i think it's on 12. So. Don't like a small talker, crowded sidewalk she Don't like a small talk, she don't like to say a lot But she don't mind restful sacred mornings, listening to the rain She don't like big crowds or dreary storms what did he say? They're running behind, so they're gonna get it in after lunch. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. A glass of wine by the fireplace, trade in memories. Don't like the rat racer, the numb and fast pace of the city's mad chase. Smiley plastic face, but she don't mind filling blank pages with perfect poetry. Oh dear, I was worried that it wasn't coming through and, and uh, you no, know. No, that was good timing. So we are done our diagnostics. Okay. okay. Um, it looks very much like it's a uh, glow plug harness, not glow plugs. Oh. Yeah, so they're, they're uh, bad wiring in there. You can see it's quite often, actually. Mm. Um, okay. Well, on, unfortunate side of things is that probably one to two weeks before I see them, I would have to, I have to order them there a couple weeks out, so I don't know what your guys' plans are, what you're doing, but that's, that's what looks like it's going on right now. I guess that's what we'll do, hey? Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> so if you do the glow plug harness, yeah. does that, do you also, does it get new glue, glow plugs anyways? No. Or how does that work? Because no. we've just been told multiple times that it's very difficult to get to. It's not like a 12 hour job, right? But maybe a couple hours to do the harness, but probably four and a half, five hours, I'd say to do the glow plug. Oh, okay. If you okay. break off, then you know, then you have different, a different story, right? And yeah. That can so, would you then recommend doing the glow plugs anyways? Right, so, I think they're the hardest, but let's, then we can kind of go from there. Okay. All right. All right. And I will, uh, I will order the part. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll see you soon. No problem. You got it. He said a week to two weeks, so it could be earlier. Okay, everybody. So, we got our phone call. Yeah. So, he's saying it's a glow plug harness and it's supposedly a lot cheaper. It is going to take a week to two weeks to get in, so we're just going to have to check out this area. Honestly, I feel like I'm just going to expect that the glow plugs still need to be replaced. <laughs> Me too. But we'll start here and go from there. They're specialists. This is good, I think so. We're going to take the puppies for another walk on back there. It's a beautiful walk. The sun is out. It's weirdly plus 30 right now. So we're going to head to Babe's Auto. They're awesome. They're yeah. cool. And an East Coaster guy is there. A fellow from Newfoundland. Really cool. nice piece. Off we go. Off we go. I didn't even realize we were matching until the lady, a lady drove by us today and she was like, I love your matching plaids. Yeah. It's the lesbian plaids. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah, crap. Normally we don't match, but anyway. I uh, yammer on. We'll see you guys soon. Breaded deliciousness. Oh, I love breaded fake chicken. Yeah. Oh, there's your hotness. 
Oh, I want to good scratch, bye bye. Okay, come here, my little man. There you go. Get the door. You get the door. It's a nice donut you have there. You can see them everywhere. YouTube, tell us if you know what the, does the donut mean. What's the donut? It's for Keo because she's a little piglet. Little piglet. Keo piglet. Fourth little piggy. <laughs> Dakota is the panda and she's the little piglet. Little Keo and Puma. Where did Keo go? Wee 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 wee. He's getting tired. Climbing that hill. Way to end the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I ordered the parts. Okay, cool. Um, I'd say let's probably book this for like the. Everybody. Hello. We are back and we are no longer at the cabin. No longer at the tiny house. Nope. So we decided to actually make our way back into Nacusp because it's such a long wait between when we were at the shop and when we have to be back. We are in town right now, just enjoying some sunshine. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Mm -hmm. We're gonna take the puppies for a much needed walk and let the, let the van get some sun because we haven't actually been getting a ton of sun here, which is not uncommon for BC. It's generally pretty gray once the winter time comes, but it's a beautiful sunny day today. It is. Yeah, and when you stay in the trees, it can be sunny in town, but it is still blocking the sun yeah, in the mountains. So, in the mountains, yeah. Having a town day. Wait. He away. Catch it, he away. Ready to walk? Wow. Isn't that gorgeous? That's still the water is. Mm -hmm. There is snow on the mountain up there, but it's hard to see with the light. It's all pretty. Okay. Wanna go, Baba? The red leaves. Oh, yeah. Those leaves are beautiful. All dogs must be on leash and under control. Do you hear that? You gotta be under control. So something that I have missed because I am tree obsessed is the weeping willows from the East Coast because they're everywhere. It's my favorite tree, although I love all trees. It's the best tree of life. It's mm -hmm. like 
seaweed and a tree got together and made something magical. <laughs> <laughs> but I was so surprised, Heaven. I've been, I'm like, there's a willow tree. Freaking out about the willow trees while we're driving. Yeah, there's lots here. There's so many here. <laughs> he likes the willow tree. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed the down trees, but there are some and there's like, there's bunches of leaves and then there's clumps and branches everywhere. They had a big storm the other day yeah. and it took out a lot of trees. And Absolutely insane winds. It was up to like 95 kilometers an hour with mm -hmm. the winds and you could see the trees were broken over when we drove back. We, we literally missed it by I think like two days. So you can still see the bits of the damage everywhere. I don't think there, there was any severe damage here. My aunt did say that some people she talked to, they had um, trees fall on their vehicles and stuff. Which, fortunately. Oh, and power lines too, right? Oh, and the, power lines. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful spot, but you cannot predict the weather here. <laughs> There's no lick of wind here today, folks. Oh yeah, it's so still. Yeah. Just beautiful. Turning out the light again While I wrestle what's within Looking out for a friend What's the one rule we forgot Say the story or the plot Something new was overdue Nakas come prior to the First World War the CPR shipworks were busy with the SS Boddington in 1911. It was the biggest job undertaken at the Nakas docks, and even the school children helped the welders by passing rivets. Cool. Wow. All right, everybody. So we did a little walk on the path, checked out the trees and the beautiful water. The dogs are going banana birds, sniffing everything. So we are going to stay at uh, Chris's Aunt Trish and Uncle Kelly's place again, just for a few days until we head out for our appointment. Yeah, super nice of them to have us back. I'm sure they weren't expecting it so soon, but... <laughs> he said, y'all come back now, you hear? He did say that. <laughs> so we did. <laughs> Probably sooner than they hoped. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I want to drive on you. Hey, hot little man. Is that a toasty walk for you? Okay, and 
And if you guys are wondering where Chris is, she just ran up to the house to uh, pop in and say hi to her auntie Trish and Kelly. We have seen them already, so um, yeah. But she just went up there to say hi, and I'm going to um, make us some dinner. Or more accurately, I'm going to heat us up some dinner because Chris already made the soup the other day. <laughs> Still excited. One Tupperware is going to do us both just fine. Still cold, but delicious. All right, English muffins. Excellent. What are we doing? Hmm. Mm hmm. Now we're warm. We got these little lights over here, which are quite nice because you see, when we are trying to save battery, they are handy dandy because we can have light without using any battery. She thinks she's here. What are you doing, my love? I am making supper. Some soup. I heated up the soup. Butter. Put the butter upon. Biscuit because my wifey will not eat anything if it's not slathered in butter or mayonnaise. Hey, <laughs> I like that. Oh, there's the wrong cheese. We got our new giant cheese. He's not the cheese I asked for. Cody, you were being good. Get your butt in your bed. How did you eat that so fast? Did we demolish our food? Yeah, it was so good. Now we get to have these, everybody. This is our favorite beer. It's so good. So Granville Island is a brewery in Vancouver, which I really want to go to. It's a winter ale. So for those that like fall beers, they're so good. Mufasa is ready for bed. Did anyone notice how like morbid that is that we call her Mufasa? <laughs> <laughs> Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa! You went on the bed, don't you? No one has ever commented on that. I wonder if anyone picked up <laughs> Oh, up you. Oh, boy, buddy, are you hot? How are you hot? You're in your best life on the bed. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> You already had your, your little S-N-A-C-K. I have to spell it because I don't want to make you excited for no reason. You know, I bet he thinks he's getting PB because he gets his PB K-O-N-G mm. at nights. I've gotten a lot better at spelling since we had <laughs> those. Here you go. I'm hungry. <laughs> Would you approve of my bed making skills these days? Yeah, perfect now. <laughs> when you started, it was like, because <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> but you care, so I want to care for you. Tomorrow, are we going to watch a movie? Yeah. Be mentally prepared for it. I wanted to watch a movie with Carissa the other night and she's like, I can't do it. 
I haven't mentally prepared for it yet, <laughs> which I totally understand. <laughs> if anybody looks at our bed setup and thinks that this takes a crazy amount of time to do, it really doesn't. Just go on Instagram and look at some of the bed setups that people have in their vans. It is crazy, the amount of time it takes for some of the setups. I admire it, but I could not do it. <laughs> Just trying to put the blanket underneath. <laughs> Just trying to double blanket up. Do you make it really easy to go to bed, Kiki? Yeah, oh, it's easy. Okay. There we go. Now. Yours up, yours up, Nahini. If you pick up so much space. Oh, don't call it me, Missiness. <laughs> <laughs> Time for some Chicago PD and sleep. Ow! Felt good. Felt good. Living in a tiny home. Good night, YouTube. We will see you next week.